Uh, hello everyone again. <clears throat> so um, this is the second part of our lesson, uh, which is related to grammar, and the title is passive. I mean passive voice, infinitive ing. It is said. So we're going to focus on report. Uh, sorry, on uh, passive voice uh, based on infinitive and uh, uh, gerund or ing. Uh, okay, so the picture that introduces us as usual to the presentation, okay, which is which is the explanation of the course. Uh, for centuries, Christopher Columbus was believed to have been the first European to set foot in America. However, nowadays the Vikings are known to have landed on the continent 500 years before him. The story begins in the 10th century with with Eric the, the Red. After murdering two men, Eric avoided being arrested by sailing west from what is now Iceland. It is said that he eventually settled in Greenland and had a son called Leif. One of, the, one of his voyages, Leif discovered a new area of land with plenty of fresh water and food. Evidence of the Vikings and their houses continues to be found in this region of Canada today. Uh, okay, if, if you are one of the one of the fans of uh, the map or the atlas, um, and if you are also one of the fans of history, uh, you can look back into history and uh, uh, for more information for general culture, try to okay to find out who is Christopher Columbus. Uh, apart from uh, being the discoverer or the the, the founder of America. And of course, you can uh, look for the history uh, of America and its relationship with the Red Indians, and uh, that's very interesting indeed, okay, between brackets. So uh, we go to the presentation uh, directly. Uh, passive infinitive and passive ing form. You form the passive infinitive with to be plus past participle. Evidence continue, uh, the example we have here, evidence continues to be found in region today. So to be, that's infinitive, plus found, which is the past participle of the verb find or to find. It's okay. Uh, you can use the passive infinitive with verbs that are followed by the infinitive, by two, sorry, by the two infinitive. Example, agree, demand, want, uh, say also unit 61, uh, we might have the chance, as I always say, for uh, and, 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 and covered and, and seen uh, units uh, later. Uh, example, another example, the prime minister agreed to be interviewed. So agreed to be, that's uh, infinitive again, interviewed, the, the, the past possible of interview. Okay, between brackets, uh, the, 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 the act or the activity is the interview. And the person who asks questions is interviewer, and the person who answers questions is called interviewee, okay, with double E in the end. Uh, the next example, the shopkeeper demanded to be paid. Okay, demanded, uh, that's uh, the, 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 the verb, to be infinitive plus paid, the, the past participle of the verb, pay. Uh, you form the passive ing form with be and plus past participle. Uh, example, Eric avoided being arrested for murder. So that's being gerund or verb plus ing. Arrested again, the past participle of the verb arrest. Uh, okay, so... Um, Uh, so uh, that's okay. Uh, arrested, uh, said the past participle of the verb arrest. Uh, by the way, uh, for past participle, so there are two verbs, irregular verbs, for which you add just ed or id or d, and for irregular verbs, there is the list which you are supposed to memorize by heart. If you want to uh, have uh, fluency speaking English and you won't have any problem in the future. Uh, okay, the passive uh, ing can be used with verbs that are followed by verb plus ing, example, enjoy and hate, or after a preposition, for example, bored with or learned by. It's okay. Uh, the children enjoy being taken to the zoo. Uh, the other example, I'm bored with being taught history. 
So here the passive voice is okay or can be used also uh, as it's clear here by okay with some uh, prepositions uh, okay plus uh, gerund it's okay uh, passing reporting structure it is said use passive reporting structures with reporting verbs such as said thought believed claimed reported suggested example it is said that he lived in Greenland it is said who said nobody it's okay so you uh, make it in the passive voice because the person who said that is anonymous and is unknown uh, Christopher Columbus was believed to be the first European to set foot in America so Christopher Columbus was believed so who believed that people but are they specific no it's okay uh, Vikings are known to have landed on the continent it's okay uh, passive reporting structures are formed like this it plus to be plus past participle of report of the reporting verb plus that clause it is known that he lived in, in Iceland uh, it he she they plus to be plus past participle of reporting verb plus to infinitive she said to be unhappy here it he she they plus to be plus past participle of reporting verb plus to have plus past participle uh, they are believed to have lived on the Iceland or sorry on the island I'm sorry uh, the speaker in passive reporting structures is often unknown or unimportant okay so this is what is okay, what I've just said earlier uh, example it has been reported that there is a delay uh, the other example he is believed to have stolen over a million pounds passive reporting structures are also used when someone wishes to remain anonymous it has been reported that you were not at your desk that isn't true who told you that so uh, for example suppose you want to tell your brother or sister uh, that your mother or your father said something but you you don't want to mention your father so you tell him or her uh, it is said that uh, for example the laptop should not be okay uh, should not be uh, taken away from the house just an example and of course you keep your mother or your father away from troubles or if you don't mention if you don't want to mention okay as i say so uh, this is all for the exercise three one. Uh, exercise one underline the correct it is known that the robbery happened at three in the morning so uh, both uh, from one to nine there two. are two options they can be possible. it is thought that the robbers options, dug a tunnel underneath the road or to choose or to uh, uh, circle three. the best uh, option it is claimed choice. that it goes right into uh, the bank two, vault much one to six with a to f so that's uh, very simple uh, a blue three, van is said to have been uh, seen. Exercise. Try to listen carefully to the record and try five. to fill or to continue the sentence. The robbers are rumored to, to have stolen up to a to million five. pounds, one, but that's unconfirmed. Uh, that's it, yes. An uh, exercise for and finally, write some examples of your own. Uh, please, English, uh, Spanish, or German, any language needs practice. And if you don't want, uh, not if you don't want, I'm sorry, if, if you don't try to practice, you are not going to be perfect as you wish. It's okay. So, uh, practice makes perfect. If you, want, if you want to speak English fluently or Spanish, okay, whatever language, you should practice. That's it. Uh, so tell me, or let me, sorry, tell you that I was very happy and glad to deliver to this course. I wish you the best of luck. See you very soon uh, in okay with another lesson, inshallah.